Gang, I'm out dumb as hell. Like, oh shoot, bro. Like, y'all don't understand it, bro. We hit 20k. I've been at work all day. You feel me? So I ain't even been able to celebrate or nothing yet, bro. We really hit 20k. And y'all know, bro, the goal was to hit 20k on my birthday on August 24th. Bro, today is August 14th. Like, bro, we really knocking these goals out the park, and I got nobody to thank but y'all. You feel me? Y'all really been rocking with me supporting me bro a lot of y'all been telling me you inspired by me you love what i do and to keep going with it bro y'all literally keep me going bro and we hit a goal you feel me like so many people man i'm telling you so many people wrote me out so many people told me i wouldn't be shit and doing nothing and i'm finally doing something you feel me we on the right pathway and i'm really starting to see my goals be achieved you feel me so i just want to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart man i got a giveaway coming now since we hit 20k like, bro, I love y'all so much, bro. Real talk, certified gang, bro. And for anybody that's watching, I'm living proof showing y'all that y'all can literally be what you want to be. You can do what you want to do, man. No matter what nobody say, you feel me? There's people that hate on me every day. But I keep on pushing. I keep doing what I'm doing. And I'm starting to see success, you feel me? I love y'all so much, for real, bro. If you're going through anything, just know I'm never gonna give up on you, so please don't give up on me. With that being said, though, don't get it twisted, you feel me? 20K is just one goal, we got multiple more goals, man. That's one thing that I hope you guys learn is that just because you achieve one goal, it doesn't mean stop there, bro. Don't get complacent, continue to work hard, continue to push, you feel me? So now I'ma really challenge y'all, you feel me? I'ma see if we can get to 30K before my birthday. 30K before my birthday, bro. If we can do that, bro, that'd be the perfect birthday present, you feel me? So I'm gonna push myself, I'm gonna work hard in these next coming days to try to get there, you feel me? And if you watching right now, you should be challenging yourself too. Now, it's been a little minute since I took y'all on a shopping vlog last time we went cleat shopping. Y'all seem to like that video a lot. So today we're going football shopping once again, bro. Today, we are on the hunt for some football accessories. We gonna head up to Dick's, bro, see what they got, and then kind of go from there, you feel me? I am on the hunt for some new gloves, you know what I'm saying? I think the gloves that I use for practice right now, they kind of old, so I'm in the market for some new gloves. I don't know about a mouthpiece because I already got two mouthpieces, but while we're at Dick's, we're gonna go through some accessories that I think every football player should have if they got it in their arsenal. Like I've said in many videos before, as a semi-pro football player, man, all your equipment, everything, all your swag is pretty much on you. You know what I'm saying? There's not that much money in semi-pro, so you got to get your stuff yourself. And that's where it makes it tough. You know what I'm saying? So we about to head to Dick's, man. We about to get our shopping on. And hopefully you guys enjoy this vlog. With that being said, leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Follow me on IG and let's get straight to it. Hey, Certified Gang. So we driving to Dick's right now, bro. We almost there. But let me know down in the comments, like, what is your favorite football accessory to shop for? Like, is it gloves? Is it mouthpieces, is it socks, visors, you feel me? Let me know down below. And also let me know, do you be buying football accessories just for your drip, or do you actually buy it for the performance? Like, do you buy a visor because it's good looking, or do you buy it for its actual use? Because I know there's some players out there that just be buying like certain things just for their drip. I'm one of them sometimes, but sometimes I look for performance as well. Hey, before we go in here, I told y'all before, bro. I'm a huge sneaker here, bro. I love shoes, J's, all of that, bro. Look at this heat that I got on today. <laughs> <laughs> got it! <laughs> got the toes out today in the Jesus sandals, you feel me? A lot of y'all on my IG, y'all be making fun of me for that. But I think I wear them well, you feel me? Like, let me wear my Jesus sandals in peace. We're here at Dick's Sporting Goods, bro. We about to go in here and shop for our football accessories. Now, while we in here, I'm going to show y'all some football accessories that I think are essential to every football player. I'm not going to buy every single one. I think I'm going to walk away with a new pair of gloves, if anything. But we just going to see what they got, man. Shout out to Dick's Sporting Goods. Y'all need to sponsor me, bro. Stop playing with me. Hello. See how they greet me when I come in? That's good customer service right there. Got my doctor's mask on right now. It feel good in here. It's hot as hell in Cali today, but we headed straight towards the football section. We don't play around. We getting straight to business, man. And we just gonna go section by section, see what they got, and let me know what you liking down in the comments. Would you cop? Would you drop? 
All that, dog. What's good, bro? What's good? You play ball? Yeah, bro, what it look like? I bet you trash. Keiko, you trash. You play semi-pro. You ain't have to take it that far down. All right, y'all, so we in the football section right now. And I guess we just gonna start it off with our mouthpieces since it's the first thing that I see. Um, obviously, you see these Under Armour mouthpieces. You see these Shock Doctor ones, you know, all that. Um, obviously, a mouthpiece is essential. Now, do you need the craziest looking mouthpiece like these battle drones right here? No. You feel me? That's why I was asking in the car, do y'all be buying stuff for your drip or the actual performance? Now, a mouthpiece is really like two in one because you can buy it for your drip and you can actually use it. You know what I'm saying? But battle mouthpieces are my favorite, hands down. You feel me? Battle, if y'all watch this, Y'all gotta get with your boy, you know what I'm saying? This one right here is kind of plain. I don't really like that one. This money one, it's cool. Feel me? I think this spins on the inside too. This pink John, it's crazy. I don't really like it. I don't really like that one either. That one's cool. You feel me? My favorite ones is like the solid colored chrome ones. Those go crazy. You got the pacifier, which is cool too. Battle got the best mouthpieces, man. They designs go crazy. I like this one right here. Um, but today, I don't think I'm gonna buy a mouthpiece just because, bro, my season don't even start to January, so what's the point in buying the mouthpiece? But to me, if I recommend mouthpieces, I'm gonna say battle every single time, you feel me? Over here you got, I mean, this is more for like youth players, I feel like, because when you're in high school, they give you equipment, you know what I'm saying? But these are like little jerseys and stuff. Adidas, you know how I feel about Adidas jerseys. These Shock Doctor mouthpieces is cool. I don't know what it is, it's just like, I mean, obviously, at the end of the day, a mouthpiece is a mouthpiece, but still, like, for some reason, I just like battle ones better, like, the design and battle is better to me, you feel me? But let me know what mouthpiece you rock. Do you rock just a regular ass mouthpiece, or do you swag those out a little bit, go with battle or some other brand, you feel me? Oh, there's more on this side, ooh, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, they got battle gloves over here. You feel me? It's a special edition, too. I don't know what makes it special. Oh, it's got a little palm print on it. These is cool. But white and black, I, I like stuff that stands out, bro. If you can't tell by my style on Instagram and everything, I like stuff that stands out. So, like, this is fire. This pink one's fire, bro. Yeah, these are more of the solid, man. Y'all know I love red. Battle, bro. You gotta get with your boy, I'm telling you. Moving on as far as football accessories, we are now on our gloves, you feel me? Now gloves, bro, is low key expensive as hell. Like I remember when I was playing football in high school, gloves was maybe about 30, 40 bucks. Now I seen gloves all the way like 60 bucks, you feel me? Um, but these is like d lineman gloves, you feel me, see? Oh, sh these is like lineman gloves right here. I know they say D-tackle, but Pretty sure you could use them um, as an offensive lineman too. You feel me? I be seeing some linemen, like they be wearing regular gloves, like how receivers and everything. I like these right here. But these are the youth drones. I'm trying to find uh, the adult ones. Let me know down in the comments who you think makes the best gloves. Is it Nike? Is it Adidas? Uh, there's more Nike. Is it Cutters? I like Cutters because they solid colors, bro. Like. I just may cop these red ones right here. Now, red is not even my, my team's color or anything like that, but I may just cop them to have them because these are just so hard to me, you feel me? Maybe I'll get them for when I 1v1 destroying, you feel me? By the way, tell them. Y'all be telling me y'all want me to 1v1 destroying. We gotta all tell them we got a 1v1, you feel me? Set that up. Oh, and I can't forget about Under Armour, you feel me? Under Armour gloves ain't bad at all. Like I said, I don't know, I feel like I'm a little biased because I kind of like battle gloves, I like Nike, I like Adidas gloves, but really for me, Under Armour don't really get that much love from me, but these is kind of fire, I'm not gonna lie with the little sparkly bits in them. $35 is a good price. Let me know if you like this too when you be shopping. Like, if it's like something that people have tried on before, I always gotta give me like a fresh pair, you feel me? So I was looking for the freshest pair of these red drones, but I'm about to try them on right now. This is size large right here, but I think low key, that I need me an extra large, bro. I think my hands is getting bigger, you feel me? I'm growing, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I think that extra large fit way better, bro. When I was in college, when I was in Indiana State, bro, it was cool because like, 
you would always go to the equipment manager if you needed new gloves or whatever, and you would just go up to them and you'd be like, hey, I need a new pair of gloves, like my old one got a hole. And they would be like, all right, what size is you? You feel me? You tell them your size, and then they would just give you a new pair of gloves just like that, bro. Like, that's one thing that I just loved about, you know, being at a D1 school and everything like that. But this extra large feel way better on my hand, bro. I think that these is a cop right here, man. The Rev Pro 4.0s and the all red. Even though my team ain't all red, this is my favorite color. So we got our first pickup of the day. Um, and then I was just walking and I came across these football towels. Now, I don't know if every position needs a football towel. I know more of the quarterbacks and like DBs and sometimes even receivers wear these towels as well. But the towel is always a good accessory to have, especially if you're playing in a state that gets a lot of rain or maybe humidity, you feel me? Sometimes that ball be slick. So um, that's just something good to have out there, bro. They got Nike towels, not just Nike towels, um, Under Armour, you know, Battle. Battle even has their own towels too. Dang, I didn't even see these all white Nike gloves. Them is hard. All right, so moving on, um, I came across all the football chin straps. And really, like you can call a chin strap a football accessory, but it's also an essential too because without a chin strap, like you can't play without a chin strap. But obviously, you know, they got different brands, man. They got the Sport Tech ones, Under Armour ones, Battle ones. I've never rocked a Battle um, chin strap before. So if you've rocked one before, let me know. Uh, but usually the ones that I, I wear have before is usually the one that comes with a helmet So if it's a Riddell Speed Flex, I wear a Riddell chin strap. If it's a Shut F7 I wear a Shut chin strap, you feel me? But this year I may try to switch it up and wear battle, you feel me? I just may be battled down all, all year, bro. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Right next to the chin straps We got our football visors now me. I'm the type of player I like to buy my visors off the line because I like to mess with shock if you don't know what shock visors are, man, they make some of the coldest visors out there. There's also Elite Tech, I think, they make visors. Pretty much every brand makes visors, but uh, really, I never bought a visor from the store. I mean, they got this American flag one. They got all clear Under Armour. They got Nike ones right here. But like I said, I messed with shock. But the reason I like shock is just I feel like, I don't know, they took visor game to the whole new level, bro. I know they got a new visor out right now. I have not tried it yet, so I'll probably pick it up soon. But right now, I don't need to pick up no visor because I don't even got a helmet or nothing. We're not even in season, so. Bro, I've never seen something like this before, bro. This is a shut splash shield, bro. I guess you put it, like, either over your visor or, like, your whole, look at this, bro. Like, your whole face mask, if it can focus. You put it, like, over your whole face mask, and I guess it helps with you not getting splashed. You feel me? If I seen somebody with this on the field, bro, like, come on, bro. All of my DBs, all of my receivers, quarterbacks and everything like that here are our back plates now i think battle makes some of the best back plates i probably be wearing a battle back plate this year you feel me i've said it before i've even seen some linemen wear some back plates so don't get it twisted man linemen can wear back plates too as well this is another accessory that i mess with heavy you know to my turf tape turf tape is another accessory that i feel like all positions can wear you feel me turf tape really helps y'all is when y'all playing on turf it helps y'all from not getting turf burn and everything like that because turf burn that's a whole nother monster bro i got so many scars on my arm just from turf burn stuff is crazy dog some more towels right there really i would only wear these if it like went along with what my jersey was looking like other than that I would just wear a plain one, you feel me? You got your little eye blacks right here. You got the pink ones, you know, for the breast cancer awareness, all that, bro. Um, that's cool. I never really rocked that, even when I was, you know, in high school and in college. I kind of would use eye black like the actual marker. Put it right here, you feel me? But that's the only thing I really did. Arm sleeves is another thing, you feel me? Now, is it essential to every player? I think not because it really just depends on that player. Like, do they like wearing orange sleeves like this dude right here or do they not? You feel me? Me, like I said, I, sometimes I don't like feeling restricted, so I don't be wearing it. But one thing I think every player should have is a skull wrap, bro. Like, being in a helmet is hot as hell, and if you have a lot of hair, or not even a lot of hair, bro, you want to keep it nice and just be clean, you feel me? So I think everybody should have a skull wrap. So now we in the soccer section, and a lot of you may be like, bro, this is about football. Why are you in the soccer section? because of the soccer socks you know what i'm saying we all know how odell rocks his socks pretty much started a whole trend in football you feel me with the socks man i love soccer socks you know what i'm saying they got so many colors and not even for that expensive of a price like that's 14.99 
and you can really get swaggy with it, bro, and drip yourself out for the game and match your team and everything like that. This isn't what I was looking for, but you got hand warmers right here. This is another accessory. Really, any player could wear this, especially if you play somewhere cold. I'm from Indiana, dog. Y'all know how Indiana get. You feel me? Them Friday night lights, it be cold, like near around October and everything like that. So them hand warmers be coming in handy. All right, y'all, I could not find it. But what I was looking for was armbands. It's an accessory that any football could wear, too. Um, it kind of adds to your drip. Really, I don't see the performance side of them. Like, what is an armband actually, like, used for? You feel me? To collect sweat? I don't know. I think it's your drip. Oh, but here's the actual, what I was looking for. I was looking for this earlier, man. The actual, like, brace section, bro. We was in the wrong section last time. But like I said, man, they got thigh sleeves, calf sleeves, all that, man. That's another accessory. You got knee braces. Low-key, I'm going to need a knee brace this season, bro, because my left knee is still messed up, man. You got your spat right here, man. You feel me? Athletic tape. That's another word for it. You know what I'm saying? Um, people be really getting a little crazy with the spat, too. You feel me? They be coloring up with their school and everything like that. And also the performance side of that is to keep your ankles safe and locked in, you feel me? I'm a DB slash receiver, I don't know what I play, but I be twisting my ankles a lot. There's a lot of DBs and wide receivers that do that same thing, so. Spat, you can really get crazy with it, and it's not too expensive. Like you see, 399, they got blue, red, but that's what goes under it. This is what goes on top right here. Cohesive tape, they got the red, John, blue, green, they got army. All types, man. You can really get swaggy with it. One thing, and let me know if y'all wear these, bro. Do y'all still wear cups as a football player, bro? Because listen, man, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I can't wear a cup. I'm not telling y'all not to wear a cup, but I can't wear a cup, bro. I just do not like how it feels, and it feels like it restricts me, bro. I can't, I can't do it, bro. But let me know. <laughs> If you rock a cup, you rock a cup, you feel me? Welcome to my new house, guys. You feel me? Nice little tour. You feel me? Here's the master bedroom. This is where me and your girl lay up every single night. You know, I put her head right there, you know what I'm saying? We ain't got no TV or nothing, but you know what I'm saying? It's cool. Got a little cooler, some chairs. You feel me? Your girl be sitting on my lap and everything like that. All right, so we about to head to the cleat section just to look at the cleats, see if they got anything new in. Um, you feel me? What you looking at? But here he is, man. I think they got some more colorways of the Audi Zero 9.0s, man. These is crazy. These orange ones, they, yeah, they definitely match my semi-pro team. Ooh, okay. As y'all remember last time, I caught these Vapor 360s, man. I really, really do enjoy those cleats, man. I actually got two pairs of them. I got a 10 and a half and 11 now, um, but I gotta try the premium Johns too because they look a little bit different. Like they got this little zip tie. I kinda like these. Look at that. Ugh. The bottom of them is crazy. Cleats is another thing that's another football accessory, but also essential. You feel me? Obviously, you have to wear cleats to play football, but look cleats like this like going crazy you feel me it's a drip thing too i think i'm gonna get these for our next cleat review i think i'm gonna get these but let me know what cleat should i get next for my cleat review you know every time i'm here i gotta talk to my man patrick Mahomes, dog what's good keiko man bro we just hit 20k on the youtube and everything like that bro like it's crazy i knew you could do it appreciate you dog how come you still haven't come to practice? Kansas City wants you this year. They want you, they want to pay you $10 million, and how come you're not at practice? Dang, bro, I thought you was kidding last time. No, they for real want you. Like, you hit 20K on YouTube. Like, you're literally the best player in the world. You're better than me, and I would love to throw you a touchdown pass. Patrick is so cool, dog. Let's dap him up. See you later, Keiko. All right, y'all, so I think we pretty much hit everything accessory-wise. I mean, I guess we can go, um, like, to the clothing area and look at a couple things that you can wear as accessories as well. But right now, all I'm going away with is these cutter gloves, man, in all red. Don't even match my team colors, but you never can have too many gloves, man. Like regular stuff. I'm looking for like, you know, compression shirts and everything like that, you know. Those count as football accessories. You got the Nike Pros, which is another accessory plus an essential. 
You feel me? I feel like every football player should be wearing Nike Pro under your pants and everything like that, bro. Listen, don't be that dude that wears your drawers under your <laughs> under your bed. <laughs> I used to be like that. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I used to I used to go to practice and be wearing my straight Hanes boxes under my football pants, man, and my football shorts, bro. bro. Nowadays, you gotta get with these, man. I can understand, like, if you can't, like, afford it, it's not anything crazy. But, like, how much is these? 25 bucks, it's not gonna focus. But, you know, they even got the long ones, you feel me? You know how I feel about these red Johns, you know? Ugh, these is kinda tough, too. Hold on, they might get me shopping in for clothes. Nah, we not gonna do that, bro. This is an accessory video. Damn, shawty, what's good? Hey, baby. You look good. I ain't even gonna lie. You look very athletic. I know, baby. I run track. Oh, shoot, shawty. You feel me? Honestly, you know, the short hair, you rocking that. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, I know, baby. I did it just for you, Keiko. Stop playing with me. Like, I got viewers watching right now. It's okay. They ain't gonna see what I'm gonna do to you later. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we out of dicks now, man. Bag secure. You feel me? I ain't even gonna lie. The girl who was checking me out at the register, I could tell she was cute. Even though she had her little mask up, I could tell she was cute. And I was about to spit crack to her, but then I was like, hey, I play semi-pro football. She was like, oh, no, you ass as hell. You feel me? Now I'm just playing. But I should have spit crack to her, but I ain't, I ain't focused on no female right now. You feel me? Y'all shouldn't be focused on females right now either, man. Y'all need to be putting in that work. Let me know if I should continue to do these shopping videos, like where I go to the store and shop for the, you know, football accessories and stuff like that. But my best advice... For people that's looking to buy football accessories is one you don't always got to go to dicks the only reason i go to dicks is because in my area like this is really one of the only sporting stores and stuff like that but also look online bro you can find a lot of deals online with, with gloves and stuff like that because sometimes like certain brands be having sales on their website so go online and then another thing is too like you don't always have to buy everything at the beginning of the season like if you have some money laying around and season's not around but you know you want to have that like just buy it and then keep it for the season that way once the season comes around you may have multiple different gloves you may have multiple different pieces like you don't have to buy everything at once top the cutter rev pros 4.0 man extreme grip that extreme drip so if i drop a pass you feel me it just means i'm ass you know what i'm talking about but <laughs> I'm corny as hell. But anyway, let me know what gloves you would have bought if you was in my place, in my shoes, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be doing a lot of giveaways soon and maybe a glove giveaway coming, a cleat giveaway coming, so just stay tuned with all of that. I truly love each and every one of you, man. Thank you for supporting me. Y'all truly the best, you know what I'm saying? Just remember, you can do anything you put your mind to. Keep striving, keep pushing. Please don't give up on yourself. If I'm not giving up, you can't give up. I got your back. And I appreciate y'all for watching me, bro. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. And this is the end of the video, man. This is more than football. You feel me? Smack in the face.